Hello everybody, to this course about uh, multi-trading. Um, in this course I'm going to talk about uh, a very interesting uh, paradigm of programming. It's uh, the multi-trading and when you are, um, when you try to divide your program to uh, multiple subtasks. So, so 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 that your program can serve a lot of tasks in the same time so in this course i'm going to explain what is a trade and when we should use a trade and how to create it and how to pass parameters for the trade and give you also some practice example uh, for different cases so you can understand really uh, how to use uh, trades and why we should use trade in our program and how to make and how to create our treats in our program uh, treats are uh, a, a mechanism to uh, divide the program itself into two or more simultaneously running tasks this is this is the trade and this is the definition it's uh, like um, for example in 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 your home you are doing two tasks in the same time and uh, uh, and it's in the in and all the tasks are in the same context so the main program is the, the main program is your context and the subtasks are trades this is this is this is the definition and uh, we can we can uh, say that your program is a process in in in, in computer science and the trade is the task we are going to create for example in this uh, pictures we have the trade one uh, for example we can take it as an example of your program that is running uh, during the time and in and each time you can create a tree that can run in the same time simultaneously with your first program so to um, do some tasks for example it's like for example reading or writing into a file while you are requesting or answering an http request in the server when should use a treat so use a treat for different use cases for example to divide your program to subtasks so to make it more efficient or for example we, t we can take for example a program tree uh, that is triggered by multiple users sim simultaneously for example an http server or um, uh, an application server which is requested by different user in the same time and um, serving a lot of requests uh, in the same time this this cases uh, this cases one one single tree that program can serve all this amount of of data and all this amount of uh, of process of data processing so you you can you can deal with this problem with this problem using trees so you can divide your main program into sub program that can uh, make your work more easy so how to create uh, treats you can create treats using different syntax using a callback function and uh, or a callback function with argument a class or a lambda function we talked about uh, lambda and class in different courses in the same in the same uh, channel so you can if you want to understand what is a class or a lambda so just refer to uh, other course i submitted here in the channel to know about the principle so how to pass parameters for example uh, to a tree we create it. for example we have a function that we want with the argument that we want that be executed with so we can uh, pass argument so this is the time for uh, to give you some practice examples so you can understand the principle so you can understand the principle uh, I created here a program uh, for different cases I talked about in 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 the presentation so uh, for example I created a function callback that can uh, just display that I'm the child function for five times and uh, um, 
this this should be a, a sub program of our of our program this should, this I, I will create an, a treat for this to to execute just this function so uh, I, I expect to have um the child function five times from a, from a subtask and they created for this for the second case we created for example a class called bake so uh, also it can give the same thing uh, it should display the same thing for example I'm the class child for five times uh, I, here is a both of them both of them both of these cases um, are are two ways to create uh, to create trees uh, you can create just using function or or passing a classes or uh, the third one is using lambda so you can uh, so the first one should uh, display uh, the function ch child uh, five times and the second tree the should also uh, display the class child uh, five times and the land also tree should um, should uh, display the land child uh, five times so let's uh, try this and uh, and uh, let's try the uh, let's try this so you can see that we have uh, um, the parent the parent program is our main program that is executing displaying uh, for the five times for the function child and uh, for the class child and for lambda child we have so three uh, three subtasks that is running in the background and in the background of our program of our principal principal program uh, and it displays uh, where, where it, you can you can um, you can do it any work in the function or in the class operator so that can be executed by your subtax so you you can uh, see here that they join the three trees after so if you do if you don't do this what we can expect we can expect that a problem with our program uh, running after running it where you can see that we have a corrupted program that crashes at the end because we don't wait the uh, other task to be finished because the main program the main task don't didn't wait the child tasks to be finished so to 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 tell the system to wait for the child process to be finished we have to join all the trees we created at the end so we can now run the program safe safely so here you can so um, if you have question just put uh, put it in the comment and um, don't forget to follow um, my channel to receive yeah, any update uh, and uh, any new course i'm going to talk uh, anytime about an advanced topic so thank you again for watching and see you in the next video